the first thing I wanted to bring up in our conversation today is our new website theme. I mean, Michael, by looking at our website, the images, the meaning of each images, the information, the design, really give us a comprehensive idea of what's coming ahead of us. Well, it is the access to one-stop solutions to take us to our next level of success. What do you say to that, Michael? Absolutely. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, wow, it just pops out at you, uh, it grabs your attention. Um, you know, I can see a lot of visitors, you know, like staying on the page at an engaging uh, with the content that's there. And that is wonderful because a lot of times you go onto, you know, whatever website and there's nothing there that's pulling you, trying to keep you there. You know, it's just the same thing over and over again. So you're so conditioned in, to seeing that. Uh, yet this was very refreshing to see. This is probably, it may, may, may be my favorite. If it's not the, my favorite, it's probably right up there, Julie, because there's been so many, uh, but this one's right up there, that's for sure. Absolutely, Michael. And as we go further into our website, we can feel the success, you know, that it's coming. We, 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 we feel the hard work. I mean, success, success isn't just an overnight thing. It's hard work. It's full of sacrifice and and, and, you know, we have to start it somewhere. And on, on Passive started over a little bit over five years ago. And, uh, you know, at that time is the vision, the hardship. I mean, all of that going. And that, that's why I want to bring up the next point, Michael, and everyone who's currently following with on Passive, social media, YouTube, everywhere, you know that on Passive is having a contest, right? Where anybody, everybody can involve. And you know that you can win thousands and thousands of dollars. And supposedly it ends today, but they have extended to into August 6th, 2023, which is this year. Now, if you are on the borderline of wanting to open a business, you have, you needed some fun for your business. This is a great opportunity to get started. This is a great opportunity to be involved in something really big, which is on passive. Now, that is the reason why we call our conversation today, Michael, is the next level of success. Everybody who have involved in the business own a business before. We all know that we have clients, we have customers, right? Whether or not if you are a small business, medium business, or a large business, large, big company, we always are talking about either customer, client, or consumer. So, Michael, let's help all of us to kind of like define the, those terms and what are those term means in on passive? Yeah, absolutely, Julie. So we know most people, you know, you, you're used to the word customer, right? I walk into a store, you buy something, you're a customer, right? A customer can be uh, someone that's just a one-time transaction customer. You could have repeat customers, right? Where someone comes into your store or to your place of business, uh, multiple times, um, you know, uh, the term client, you know, it, although they are interchangeable, right? Uh, but the term client usually is more someone of a loyal customer, um, you know, someone where you're actually um, providing a service to them and they're giving you a payment for that. Um, and you certainly want to have your client over and over and over, meaning repeat business uh, all the time. Um, but, you know, again, people can use either terms. Uh, I think client is a little bit more on the formal um, side of things. And you find that um, larger businesses will talk about uh, clients, especially when it's a personal service that's being provided, um, such as a lawyer, uh, you know, can have client. They don't normally say they have customers, right? Um, so, you know, that's how people can easily dif uh, differentiate the two. Uh, but in our passive, we like to use the term users. Why? Um, because we're looking for people that will use our products. So users is you know very fitting um, a terminology um, for that, right? Yes, it's still a customer. Yes, it's still a client. 
Um, but we certainly want to have uh, active customers, active clients, people who are engaged, people who are coming um, because of what we have to offer, right, in the way of products. Uh, people want to use the products to help them, um, you know, engage in their own particular business and so on. Um, you know, so those are the three terms, if you wish, customer, client, users, uh, but you certainly could um, use them uh, either way, uh, just that it depends on the nature of your business, the nature of your service as to which one you will use. But here in OnPassive, uh, we will use the term users um, because that's exactly what our customers and our clients are. They will be using, utilizing uh, our products over and over and over again. Absolutely, Michael. And so in our conversation today, instead of using customer, clients, or consumer, we are from now on, we'll be using the word, the term users. Um, as, as we all know, um, users information are so important. You know, um, it, it is really the essential key to any business nowadays. You know, there are so many ways that we're trying to do. We communicate with our, our users every day, you know, whether or not through apps, through social media, you know, um, but having the the essential, having the important, the accurate information is so important. Having those information really will help us you know, making decisions, you know, using the facts and the figures that we receive will help us make that decision. And, and successful businesses so far that we've seen since the beginning of day until now, it's really truly depend on the data that we're receiving from our users, whether or not, um, you know, we are creating ourselves. It's really crazy how important data, it's so important. Uh, Michael, do you want to talk a little bit about how data or how users' information are so important to businesses mm -hmm. nowadays? Well, well, I mean, we can, uh, a, a really good example uh, would be Facebook, right? Um, you know, Facebook makes its money primarily because of the data it has, you know, pulled together uh, from people and people voluntarily gave all this information, right? People create a page and they post everything about themselves, you know? Um, and so that information can then be used um, to sell in the case of in, in the case of Facebook, um, you know, by way of advertising, um, you know, to businesses and individuals out there. And we know the billions upon billions of money uh, that that particular company, um, you know, takes in, right, as a result of what? Just people's information, right? Um, so you can see that it is big business. Um, now, unfortunately, a lot of these companies, they abuse uh, people's in information. You know, they sell your information without your permission. They share your information without your permission and so on. Um, you know, usually there has to be some sort of consent, right? Um, you have to be able to, um, you know, uh, provide some form, form of um, application or something to people so that they can now consent to, yes, I consent to have my information shared, et cetera, Right. Um, it's very, very important. We, we have to protect our information. We can't just randomly give it away, but yet we do, you know, uh, something as simple as an email address, okay? Um, people use that and they sell it over and over and over again, and they make billions of dollars doing just that, right? Um, so it's very, very important. And here in OnPassive, um, you know, the idea is to protect people's privacy, you know, um, and, and by doing so, you are able to verify every single user, uh, Julie, right? You're able to verify the information and, and that now becomes, you know, a, a huge market in itself in that when someone, you know, wants to advertise, for example, through on passive, right? They know that the visitor, the people that you're advertising to are real. They're not bots, they're not fake information. But it's real. Why? Because that data has been verified. You know, so we know that when we start to look at the different um, products and tools uh, that on passive has to offer, uh, we can see how data is going to be such an important role. And not just us who are in already, but we're talking about the public at large. We're talking about the potential users, the billions of users that will come, how important that is going to be to be able to verify each of these individuals. Um, and then also when you create your own social, um, uh, you know, media uh, platform, 
uh, your own community, et cetera, you know, you'll know exactly who you're engaged with um, because again, their information will also be verified, um, you know, as opposed to a lot of the, you know, fake data that we know that's out there um, that people utilize. Um, you know, so we want to have a clean environment and that's exactly what Empathic will provide to the marketplace. Absolutely, Michael. It, it's really important that we have the true data, the true information. Uh, and, and having though, truly our businesses lies on the stability of our business and or the continuations of our, our business, it's really based on the the data, the correct information that we receive, it really empower uh, for us to create not only more businesses, right? But we also create more prospects, you know, uh, give us a, a generate more profits. We can literally, if, if having those correct information data, uh, we can literally forecast the future's trend. We can give more power to the operational effort that we have. And also we yield more profit, right? We have the flexibility in our business. And for us as the operational of our business, we have more freedom, more free time uh, in our hands. So it's truly, it's really important to have the accurate data. So funny, you mentioned about um, the platform FB that we are, you know, a lot of us are in it. Uh, I've been in it for a while. How many of those friends, you know, in my friend list, 5,000 people, that's a limitation. How many of those friends, or we call it client customers, you know, are actually real people? And I'm glad you brought up the verification of the real human being, you know, based on the information that we talked about. So let's talk about how is correcting, having correct data will help our business. Well, absolutely, Julie. It's, remember now, to make money, it's all about sales. Right? You have to sell something, right? Um, and so who are you going to sell that something to, right? Who is it that's looking for your product and services? So if you have correct information about an individual, about a company, then you know what it is that they're looking for. You know what it is that you have that you can offer that person, right? If you, if you know that someone um, is looking for cars, let's say, okay, that's good information. So you're not gonna try and sell them you know, clothing, right? You're not gonna try and sell them food because what they're looking for is cars, okay? Now you can deep dive into that, right? By now knowing, okay, well, no, they're not looking for a Ford as an example. So therefore I'm not trying to sell them a Ford, okay? If they say, oh, we're looking for a BMW, okay? So now it's even more targeted, right? Because now it went from cars and now we're talking about a specific, um, you know, make uh, of, of car, right? So then we can go down even to, into the model of the vehicle. Maybe they're not looking for an SUV, so they don't want an X5, right? You know, maybe they're looking something, you know, like a, a little speed to it, so they want maybe an M5, so they, you know what I mean? So you can narrow down, the more information you can gather about um, a potential um, user, Right, is you can narrow that information down, and so if your target, um, you know, becomes closer and closer and closer to try to get exactly what this person is looking for, so then you can provide it to them. Because if you do that, Julie, you're almost guaranteed a sale. It's never guaranteed, but it's almost guaranteed. The more target, um, you know, that particular uh, potential user is, right? So that's important, right? And then when you're trying to provide that type of uh, target market into businesses, that's what they're looking for, right? You know, because the business themselves, they're going to have their own criteria as what they're looking for. And so you're trying to match the two. Okay, these are the users that we have. This is what you're looking for. Um, you know, you're my client. I'm trying to provide you the best service. So therefore, I want to bring the two together, right, as closely matched as possible. So then it becomes a win-win, right? The end user is happy, right? The client that you have as that particular business, they're happy because they're getting the users that they're looking for, right? And the end user is getting the product that they're looking for, right? And so on. So it's very, very important that we have as accurate information as possible um, from both sides of the fence. No one wants to waste your time, right? So if I'm looking for something, I don't want to see 
10 things that I'm not even interested in. It's like walking to the store as a, as a lady, let's say, and you're trying to you know, buy a dress, right? And they're showing you everything in the store except what you really want, right? Like no one wants to waste their time, right? You're looking for you know, purses, handbags, right? Like same idea, they're showing you everything else but not what you're actually looking for. As opposed to, you know what? Oh, you're looking for some handbags and now they're showing you a variety of handbags, right? So you want to be able to narrow down the scope, right, of what you have to offer to pinpoint exactly what that person is looking for. And then that's how you increase the potential to make that sale, right? Because sometimes, even after you show them everything that they want, but you said you wanted this, 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 I provided it to you. And then you, you know, for whatever reason, you backed out, right? I'll give you a quick example, right? <clears throat> I'm, you know, Again, you have a home, you have to redo the roof, et cetera, right? Okay, so you get different contractors come out, they give you a quote. Okay, this one is the cheapest, this one costs the most, right? Uh, this one over here, the service, uh, the particular product they're using, all these different factors come into play. So you're not necessarily gonna get the one that's the cheapest, you're not necessarily gonna buy the one that's the most expensive either, right? But you're gonna combine all these factors together, right? And then decide which one you want. Okay, so the person, right, or the company that can provide you exactly what you're looking for, that's the one that you're going to go with, right? And so that's exactly how business works in the real world, right? And so we have artificial intelligence that's going to help define and put together exactly what companies will be looking for, Julie, and that is big bucks that comes behind that. It really does. And so people start, when people start to understand what you know, this whole business is about and how it's put, being put together and what it's going to do for us in the long run. Again, you can't, you can't be nothing short of um, being excited uh, because the possibilities are unlimited, Julie. Absolutely, Michael. While listening to you, I'm really thinking about the real estate, um, you know, career as, as a real estate agent, a broker, you know, you don't want to take them to the houses that they don't want. You have to collect some information of what your client wants, right? The zip code, the style, you know, how big, how many bedroom, how many bathroom. You got to do that. And now truly really thinking about the, you know, the path, real estate path that we both, you know, you know, I'm in, I'm, a, I'm an agent. You, you've done in real estate, you've done that and you're looking for those clients, but really it's a boy down to Catmo right? Boy down to you have the complete system, right? Automatically done. All of our um, automatically already getting ready, done deal, get it done for you and deliver targeted traffic. This is what we're talking about here is we minimize all the crazy, all the, you know, what's unnecessarily stuff, but we focusing on the targeted traffic. And the pet best part of it is with on passive, we have the ability to build the entire business right on what we have, the, the user's positions, or you know, as a customer, we could do resales of the product. That is essential, you know, for a business, no matter whether or not you are in on passive as just strictly the, for usability. Or are you in on passive to build your business, an entire new career, entire new business? You have all the tools and all of the services ready at the tip of your finger. And that's why it is so important. Take a look at our website. All of that has to indicate the essential steps that is coming up for us. I'm excited, Michael. This, this right now, the age that we're living in is so heavy data driven, right? Everything is about information, right? Um, and every single company is trying to get as much information about you as possible. You know, sometimes I have to ask them, you know, well, why, you know, because most people don't read the fine print, right? Uh, I, I like to read the fine print, surely. <laughs> and so I'll see the name of a company mixed in. I'm like, well, what does that company has to do with the transaction I'm trying to conduct right now, right? Um, and again, because they want to share that information with these other people, just in case 
you know, maybe you don't buy from them or whatever the case may be, right? But they have another way, a back door, right, to still make money, okay? Because believe it or not, they do share your information with others, okay? And it's usually in the fine print, right? And as I said, most people don't read it, but it's usually there. And you check the box and you sign off, okay, no problem, right? And then you start to get, you know, all this marketing, whether it's a phone call, whether it's emails, whether it's flyers at your door, you know, you want, okay, you know, how to get all my information? Like, how do they know, oh, that I was looking for windows, or I was looking for a roof, or I was looking for a car, or whatever it is, you understand? Um, so it, it, it is, it's the, the world that we're in right now is filled with that, and especially with artificial intelligence coming on the scene, um, you know, it's taking it to another level, right? And this is why with on passive we have AI infused um, you know, technology in, in, in all our products, right? Because that is the future, you know, and, and billions upon billions of dollars will be made, um, you know, but using data the right way. See, this is the difference, using it the right way, you know, getting permission, you know, everything permission-based, right? Uh, not just spamming people, not just, you know, selling information that you shouldn't be selling because it's not necessary, Right? It doesn't, that does not have to be your model. Right? You could make billions of dollars by selling real products in a clean environment. Right? And that's what OnPassive is about, right? Is to be able to provide products and services to the end users that they will be happy with, right? Being able to provide more value uh, than is needed, right? Uh, and to be cost effective, right? And so if you can do all of that and make it in, in an automated fashion, it's a complete win-win for everyone that's involved, right? From the users themselves, to the affiliates, to the company, right? Uh, the various uh, businesses that partners with us, you know, it's a complete win-win, Julie. It's, it, this is why we say the future of internet. That's what OnPassive is, right? The future of internet, not the future of the internet, the future of internet. There's a difference between the two. You know, so I said, when people start to put the pieces together, it's just going to blow their mind as to the unlimited possibilities in on passive, right? If you can think it, yeah, you can actually achieve it in on passive. There's no doubt about that. I love that you brought up the uh, clean and clear, you know, data, real data, real, I mean, excuse me, real product, clean product and accessibility you know, let's bring back the point years ago uh, when our CEO, Mr. Ash Mufara, talking about new website every day, new look, fresh look every day. A lot of people may be questioning why does on passive changing the new theme every single day? Let's connect those two points together. There's meaning behind everything that on passive does. There's value behind everything that on passive does. Now, could you help the viewers really bring up the point of new website every day and new update, new themes every week that we are doing. What we are doing right now on passive doings right now, it's literally laying that foundation. Yeah, absolutely, Julia. And, and it's about reachability, right? You're, you're trying to reach the maximum amount of people that's possible. Um, you know, when people think of, just think of yourself, when you go to a website, uh, you know, is it something that you go back to again and again and again, right? Um, is there a reason to go back to it? How often do you go back to a single uh, website? When you go there, is your brain stimulated, right? Um, you know, or are you just, you're just there, uh, okay, yeah, done, and then you move on to something else, and you never come back, right? Uh, can you imagine going to a website and, you know, okay, yeah, this is interesting, and you know, for whatever reason, you went back the next day and it's like, oh, this is different. And you go back the next day, right? So now the third day, you go back. And again, you see a different site. Like, it's going to blow your mind, right? As a visitor, it's going to blow your mind, right? Put yourself in the position of that person visiting that website, right? And the appeal, the attractiveness. Okay, how it's going to pull that person in to engage them, right? So that they want, you know what? Hmm, maybe I'll take action, 
right? Take action doing what? Just creating a free account, right? Because you know what? This is, is stimulating my mind. It's making me think, right? It's giving me that warm, fuzzy feeling, right? So I want to explore more, right? I'm not saying that the person's going to buy and say, here's my credit card or none of that. We're just saying now you're starting to engage with that person. You're connecting with them, okay? So that a relationship can be developed. And this is being done automatically. This is not you calling the person, saying, how are you? Da, da, da. Uh, this is who I am. Nice. None of that stuff. The system is designed to be able to pull the visitor in and the visitor comes in now. Now the visitor starts to engage, right? Once they get that free account set up, right? And then when they get back there now, Julie, what they start to see, right? Again, it's going to pull them into a particular direction, right? To help them decide, is there some, is something here that you like? Is there something that you'd like to have? Whether it's free, whether it's paid, right? Because you want to start to nurture that relationship with that individual. And so they'll be able to see that, you know, yeah, let me go back to that site again. Let me, curiosity, Julie, just that alone. Let, let me see if there's actually a, a different site the fourth day, the fifth day, and so on. Wow, this is crazy. Every day I come back, it's a different website. And it's an engaging website. It's not a boring site. It's not like, uh, it's just blah, blah. No, right? As we can see, especially the one today, and there have been others, right? It's, it's not like there's one or two. There's been quite a few of them, you know, that's like just pops out. It's like, wow, right? And that's what's going to happen. It's going to create a buzz and it's going to help the business go viral. That's your business, Julie. That's my business. That's our business, right? To go viral, okay? And produce what we're all looking for. All these things are coming together just as it should, right? Because on passive is just brilliant. It is brilliant. The CEO is brilliant. His family is brilliant. Uh, the, the, the staff that we have are brilliant. You know, we, we're surrounded with brilliance, right? And that's a good thing to have, uh, Julie, because we couldn't afford brilliance, okay? Maybe your brilliance and my brilliance, maybe we could afford that. But everything as a, uh, in its totality, right? Simply amazing. So people need to understand how the different pieces come together to provide what it is that we need to have that longevity, that sustainability, uh, Julie, that's going to be here for generations to come so that you don't have to think about money ever again. Okay? That, that's, that's the bottom line, right? But in order for that to happen, though, Julie, you have to have the right pieces in place. You can't just slap something together and 90 days up here you go. It takes time for these things to happen because we're talking about something that's going to be here long term. We're not talking about something's going to be here for a few months or even a few years. Oh, yeah, I made a few bucks. Okay, on to the next. No. Okay. When someone has a career, okay, we're talking, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40 years. We're not talking about, oh, yeah, oh, how long was your career? Oh, two years. Like, that's not a career. That's just a hobby. Like you're just passing through. You, you know what I mean? But when you make a career of something, and that's exactly what people will do with on passive, they will make a career of it. So someone says, well, what do you do? Right. And, you know, on passive is going to be what it is that you're doing. Right. Um, as to how you branch off with that, you know, whether it be into other businesses, et cetera. Right. That's a different story, but it's going to be the main scope. It's going to be the main thing um, that's helping you get to where you're trying to get to in life. And it's, see, now I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it, Julie, because this is great. Like, this is, wow, this is great. I'm, I'm really, I'm literally holding my tongue while you're talking. <laughs> it's because everything that you say, it's like, yes, 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 you know. Um, and, and, and you brought up a, the point where you said our business is going to become viral. It's going to be viral now. Let's just let's just focus on the numbers really quick, okay? The last time that we were in the meeting with our CEO, Mr. Ash Mofar, he had mentioned that at this point, this is probably about a month ago, 2.6 million users already in um, already in on passive. Now, let's just take being very conservative, two millions of those were decided saying that, you know, I've 
I, I've connected with on passive. I love it. I use the product. I test the product and I love the product and I'm making money. I'm going to decide to become a reseller of on passive products. Now, two millions with what on passive is currently doing and two millions people around the world saying, I want to become a reseller. I want to be, make this as my new career. That is viral because you can have two million people talking about on passive world worldwide globally. I mean, right now we are in two hundred countries. Serious, this is like at this point we already know that it is viral, Michael. But you, but you know what, Julie? You you know what spreads even more than an affiliate spreading the word? A satisfied user. Right, a satisfied user. Right, um, when you when you use something, this is this is why you know we have you know we know when you go buy a, a plane ticket or book a hotel and so on. There's different um, engines that you can use, right? Whether it's you know Booking.com or Goda, you know whatever, right? And every time you use them, they always want a review, right? They always send you an email, you know, can you review? You know, uh, how was it? Da da da. Right? Because they know a satisfied user or customer or client, right? That, you know, that is worth gold, right? That is worth gold. Okay. And, and that's what's going to happen uh, with Unpassive. You're going to get, you know, millions upon millions of satisfied users, and they will spread the word. They will say, you know what? I used to use this email provider. I'm now using this because, wow, I can't believe I can do this, 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 this with it, right? Oh, you know what? I used to use this webinar platform, but also now I'm using O Connect and, oh my gosh, I can't believe. And they start listing off the features that they love, right? That's what's going to happen. Then others are going to see, really? Okay, you like it that much? Okay, let me come and test drive it. Let me come and check it out. And more and more are going to be doing that. And that's what's going to go viral. It's the satisfaction that users will have from the products uh, that on, on Passive is provided, right? And this is why the products then have to be the top, right? They have to be the best of the best because that's the experience you want the users to have. So you can't just grab it, slap it up and up. Here you go, let's go sell. You know, oh, when are we going to sell? When are we going to sell? You, you just can't rush it. Right. I know our CEO loves good food. Right. And so when you're putting together a good meal, you just can't rush it. Right. You, you can't rush it. Right. You have to take your time, put it together so that whoever you're preparing that meal for, you want them to be like, wow, you want it to be blown away. And if they're not blown away, you know what? I'm going to provide something else. Right. So go to a nice restaurant. Oh, you know what? The people that weren't blown away. OK, I'm going to take you to even a better restaurant. OK, that didn't impress you. OK, I'm going to take you to an even better. You understand? That's what you want. You want that satisfaction because that is worth millions upon millions of dollars. Okay? Satisfied users, satisfied customers, satisfied clients. Right. You go buy a car. Same thing. Here you go. Hey, hope you're enjoying your new vehicle. You know, can you take, you know, five minutes, whatever, to complete the survey, blah, 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 right? They want satisfied users at every stage, not just the end stage, right? Maybe you spoke to a rep on the phone and they're telling you, well, how did the rep do? Did they meet your expectation? Blah, 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 right? That's the world that we're living in today. And that is what's going to make on passive go viral satisfied users it's coming julie absolutely satisfies uh, users also we need to bring up the price point right mm -hmm. you said i used to do i used to use this i pay this much and now today i use o connect and i it cost me this much price point is also important absolutely pennies on the dollar right think about that think about going from well Okay, and I'll, I'll use a real life example. Okay, you, you know, you have property insurance. Okay, so you're paying whatever, thousands of dollars for your property insurance. 
and it comes up for renewal. So now you have your broker, get some quotes, okay? And you see that, okay, well, I used to pay, I don't know, $5,000 a year, let's say. And then all of a sudden now you can get it for $4,500. So $500 difference. Most people are going to make that switch. Most people will, right? $500 a year. Think of what an extra $500 a year could do for you, right? So you used to pay $5,000 a year for the service. You still have the same service, but it's a different provider and their cost is $500 less, right? It's like, I don't know if you ever see those commercials where, oh, this person got this hotel, right? And they paid $250 and so-and-so got the same hotel, right? But they paid like, you know, $50 less or $100 less or whatever, right? Okay, it's the same idea, right? No one's going to pay, if it's the exact same thing, why would I pay $5,000 instead of paying $4,500? It's the exact same thing, same service, same everything, right? Well, why would I spend an extra, am I trying to give them a $500 tip, right? If they deserve it, sure, but chances are, you know, they haven't done anything for you to deserve that, right? So therefore, people are going to make that switch. So I'm using you know, this particular webinar platform, I'm paying thousands of dollars a month, all of a sudden now I can come over here and it's costing me pennies on the dollar. It's more cost effective. Thank you very much, right? So there's so much that go into it, Julian. This is why we keep saying the company knows what it's doing, right? For those who think they have no clue, they're just flying by, hey, that's okay. Have you done this before? No, you haven't. Right. So the company knows what they're doing. All the pieces have to come together to make that wonderful meal. Right. A wonderful meal. Five course, seven course, whatever course you, you want. Um, you know, it's going to be there and people are going to love it. And that's what's going to sell. It's the experience. Right. It's, it's, it's the satisfaction, as I said earlier. That's what's going to sell. And that will just drive this business viral, okay? Don't worry about being no marketer and all this other fancy stuff. Okay, leave that to the techie people. Leave it to the people that who, yeah, that's their thing. They know how to market. And we have some of those, right? But the majority of people, they don't know nothing about that, right? Um, but, but they can share a word. They can express their feelings. Right? Everyone can do that. They can say, yes, I'm a satisfied customer because of X, Y, and Z, right? That's what people can do, Julie. They can't put together campaigns and all this stuff. They can't do that. They think they can, but they, they can't, right? The majority of people, though, can say, you know what? I use this, and man, whew, it's just amazing, especially this feature or that feature, right? They don't even need to have 10 features, Julie. They will but they don't even need to have that. Usually it's like one or two things that you're, that you're in love with a particular product or service that you're excited about, right? Here on passive, you know, we're going to exceed that. There's gonna be more than one or two features. Absolutely, Michael. I feel like we can talk about this all day because we, first of all, we are excited about what's coming, but our conversation today really hoping to help everyone who are looking for a place to be, who are looking for the opportunity, who is looking for the tool and the services. We all know that you can unlock your business potential with OnPassive. You know, everything that OnPassive is doing is truly focusing on the values, how we are giving to the world. You know, we are automated, innovative, elevated, and we're ready to go launch our business. And hopefully all the points that we are share here with you today, welcome you to OnPassive because that's where it is. And that's when we say OnPassive is your next level of success. <laughs> absolutely. Agree with that statement. Yeah, absolutely. Right? It, it just is. Right? If people just sit back and think about what it is that you really want out of life. What is it that you're looking for? What are you searching for? What would you like you know, your life to be? Right? What are some of the things that you want to do? How are you going to go about doing that? How are you going to accomplish any of that? Right? And so we say on passive is that one stop. It's going to provide what, if you are a company, right? it's going to help you. 
right? If you are an individual, it's going to help you. If you have a business, it's going to help you. If you don't have a business, it's still going to help you, right? People from all walks of life, right, are going to be serviced by on passive. On passive is going to have something for everyone. Okay, so that's why we say it is for everyone, and that's everyone everywhere. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Okay, doesn't matter your background, all of that. But if you're looking for a home, if you're looking for for you know to improve your finances, right? If you're looking for more cost-effective ways to conduct your business, right? Uh, if you're if you're looking for um, the latest uh, AI technology, right? You know, on passive has it all, Julie, right? That's why it is a one-stop shop. That's why it is the future of internet. That's why, you know, we continue to grow to new heights and new tops because on passive is it, right? It's it, there's just nothing else, right? So whatever it is that you're looking for out there, okay, we have a home for you in on passive. So get in, right? Get in, you're going to have products that's going to help you to create a career, one that is fully automated, one that's going to assist you every step of the way, one that's going to guide you, is going to help you no matter what your uh, tech knowledge is, no matter how uh, internet savvy you are. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay, On Passive is about real people. On Passive is about helping real people. Okay? And so just continue to pay attention, right? Pay attention. Um, it's not going to harm you. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to take anything from you, okay? But it's going to help you be a better person. It's going to help you be the best version of yourself going forward, period. Right? That alone is enough. That alone is enough, okay? But yet there's more, okay? There's more. Absolutely. There's so much more, everyone. We both appreciate you very much for coming in here and uh, join in our conversations by liking or commenting uh, on this conversation. On passive is all we need. Um, it's all done for us. It's a done deal. And as our CEO said, you can drink water, you can be in on passive. So let's go to onpassive.com. To see more information, please remember to check out the blog. Oh, God, so much information in our blog page. And then also our social media in all social media across the board. You find yeah. our passive everywhere. Don't, don't most... forget the YouTube channel, Julie. Don't, don't, <laughs> those videos are amazing. Yes. Right? yes, 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 yes. Also... Just a reminder, the contest uh, is still going on until August 6th. So good luck, everyone. And thank you so much for being here with us. Any last words? Yeah, I'll just remember, um, you know, that, you know, while we do this live, uh, we try to do it every Monday uh, as best as our, our, our schedule can accommodate it. Right? But there are other platforms. There's other um, great places to get wonderful information. You know, um, uh, Robin Lynn Live, uh, for example, is one such place. Um, you know, we know uh, Red has his live and uh, Marty uh, DeGarmo has his live and Chris Johnson has, you know, th there's so many, um, you know, places uh, that people can get quality information uh, in on passive. Um, folks, get ready, get ready. As, as our CEO likes to say, get ready for the greatest shape of your life. Absolutely, Michael. I'm so glad you brought those lives up. And also, there are throughout the day, Comfort Comfort. I mean, those the Empowerment Network platform. There are, obviously, you've mentioned Rob Lynn, Red, Marty, Chris. And then there's, I mean, throughout the day. You know, throughout the day, if you are in on passive, you get access to all of those, right? All you got to do is just, you know, look up. It's everywhere. It's, it's throughout social media. So thank you for bringing that up. Thank you, everyone, for being here with us. Uh, it's important. We are ready for the new level of success, and we are ready to make difference in, in everyone's life, the people that come across our life every day.